there's several different styles. There's the most common style is the butterfly bow tie, and that's just how it's shaped, uh, which is like what I have on. Uh, the other, uh, the other thing, there's one called the Uncle Louie. It's a little straighter, and it has kind of pointed ends to it. And then there's just a squared off version of that too. So those are really your main ones. But what you're going to see almost all the time is just the regular butterfly. Uh, these are some different pattern bow ties. Uh, this is actually a Mizzou tie to our new chancellor. He's, he's the bow tie guy, and this is one that he actually bought and is, is wearing. And it, it's from uh, State Traditions. You can see the little states of Missouri on there. So that's kind of a fun one. And that would be more like a club type that you could actually work with the pattern. Uh, this is your uh, rep stripe. Uh, both of these are actually, they have four different patterns on This has a paisley a rep stripe, and a plaid, and a foulard. So there's four different patterns here, so you can kind of tie it however you like and get which you, you, ever one you want in the front. This is a real classic stripe. This is more of a derby tie. It's got little derby helmets on it. Guys will buy them to wear to the Kentucky Derby. Uh, another rep stripe, a little mini dot that's a little dressier and a satin. Uh, on this side, uh, another four color. Uh, here's a paisley. Your classic, these both are your classic Mizzou ties. Uh, these are both uh, Madras, so they are a cotton tie. They're a little tougher to tie, but they're for summer, like with seersucker and uh, poplin suits, for instance. And then another derby tie. So lots of variety there. And these are all, what we carry is predominantly the butterfly bow tie. Not real big, but not real small. We're going to start with uh, one side a little longer than the other. Cross it over, and that will be your first step. You put this side up over your shoulder, this down. This comes back across to start to form the bow tie. The other end goes over, and you formed a little area back in the back. I'll show you right here. That done and you kind of play around with it you can pull on the like ends to tighten it down and to get it to where it's not perfectly formed like a clip-on but just you know you have a little bit of character maybe cock just a little bit 